ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय सो फॉर माय फाइनल लिटिल सर्मन Thursday was Akadashi. So there is these final days of the month of Kartik known as Bhishma Panchaka. But this year it's 6 days. Now, how to explain the moon calendar. So normally it's by Panchak, right? Five. But this year So it started Thursday. So Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday is actually the last day. Now, why are these days special? Transcendentally speaking or spiritually speaking, these final days of the month of Kartik, you get extra 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 return on your investment. I like that. just like akadashi akadashi is also a day where you get extra return on your in- what what kind of investment hearing chanting worshiping praying serving all kinds of spiritual activities so you came today bravo bravo you came today and rambai You should always do namahat in the month of Kartik. I don't know if we can always do it during Bhishma Panchak, but you should always do sponsor in the month of Kartik. Yes. <laughs> Jai. So not that they're related, but since it's Bhishma last night I was doing a program at the house of the son of dwarakadish nihar and they asked me to speak on bishma so you all know very well how bishma got the benediction that he would die only when he wanted who would not like that oh oh only when you want you have control So after the battle of Kurukshetra because Bhishma had been uh defeated at some way midway in the battle not at the end the ending battle was Duryodhan and Bhima the great battle and we see how because of Krishna's trickiness He gave the clue to Bhima how to defeat Duryodhan. Duryodhan leaped into the air and Bhima hit a home run with his club. Boom. And Duryodhan fell down his spine, his back broken. He didn't die immediately. He was writhing in pain. And while he was writhing in pain, jackals and hyenas were just waiting <laughs> prashad we're going to feast on this dead body of so duryodhan was not dead but he was gasping and crying out in so much pain meanwhile the battle is now pretty once duryodhan is defeated that means the war is over So after the war Yudhishthir is the course crowned king emperor and you would think he should be happy he won he was not happy because he was thinking oh so many people had to die so that I could become king ah I can't accept the throne Yudhishthir was such a moral righteous person he felt so responsible and krishna tried to instruct him no you just dear you did nothing wrong 
It was my plan all along that you be king. That's what I wanted. Vyasadeva also came and told Yudhisthira, why, why are you acting like this? But Yudhisthira could not be convinced even by Krishna and Vyasadeva. So Krishna then said, okay, Yudhisthira, Arjuna, come with me. And they went to see Bhishma, who was still lying on the bed of arrows. Bhishma was waiting for Krishna to come. This is how Bhishma wanted to give up his air of life in front of Krishna. Yes, if I wind up in the hospital, I just want a nice picture of Prabhupada and Krishna. Of course, I don't want to die in the hospital. But if it turns out that way, I want my iPod with all my Prabhupada tunes on it. And that's how I'm going to go, hearing Prabhupada chant, Jaya Radha Madhava. So Bhishma is waiting. Krishna, Yudhisthira, Arjuna, and so many others, they came. And when Bhishma saw Yudhisthira, he felt so happy. And Bhishma told Yudhisthira, Yudhisthira, nobody knows the plan of Lord Sri Krishna. Even if that person be a great Muni or a Rishi or Sadhu, mm -mm. because Krishna is inconceivable. Nobody can figure out Krishna's plan. You get some idea of Krishna's plan by reading Bhagavad Gita. But to actually know what Krishna's plan for you tomorrow? Nope, even me. I don't know what Krishna has in store for me tomorrow. So Bhishma told Yudhisthira, Krishna wants you to rule Take it up and do it properly. Take care of the citizens. Protect them. Don't exploit them. Protect them. You sh the king should be like a loving father to the citizens. That's the ideal king. Ram was like that. Everybody in Ayodhya loved Ram because they felt secure, protected, and loved. Yudhisthira the same way. Under Yudhisthira, the people felt so happy. Mother Earth was so happy. Everything was flourishing and abundant. And then Bhishma. Krishna, the sun is setting. Bhishma was waiting for the opportune moment. Bhishma is lying down and at his feet is Krishna. And Krishna reveals his four-armed form because that's the form Bhishma worshipped. Why did Bhishma take the side of the Kauravas? There are different reasons. But the esoteric reason, Bhishma took the side of the Kauravas so that he could fight against Krishna. That was his life's desire. He wanted to see Krishna angry and on that day where Bhishma vowed Arjuna is not going home Arjuna was in trouble and if it wasn't for Krishna Arjuna was finished but Krishna saved him and Bhishma describes says I remember Krishna you charged me with the wheel of the chariot and your hair was covered with ash and there were beads of sweat and you were bleeding because of the arrows shot by me. But actually, Krishna doesn't have blood. He was just like a movie. You see the people, it's just ketchup. It's not blood. So Krishna was putting on a show. That's why I always say every year at the Academy Awards, Krishna should get the award for Lifetime Achievement Actor. I wish I could present it. So, but it's never going to happen. So Krishna was putting on a show, showing blood. Now, when Arjuna, when Bhishma is shooting the arrows at Krishna 
for Krishna, it's like Pushpanjali. That's how Krishna was taking Bhishma's arrows, like we offer Pushpanjali. Isn't, isn't Krishna beautiful, huh? So Bhishma was recollecting so many incidents on the battle of Kurukshetra, and he offered prayers. And repeatedly, Bhishma in his prayer says, I just want to be thinking of you at this time of death. Let my mind be fixed on you. And when the sun set, Bhishma gave up his air of life and went to the eternal abode. Hare Krishna! Krishna Krishna! Hare Hare! Hare Rama! Hare Rama! Rama Rama! Hare Hare! Month of Kartik, I've been so fired up. Last week I spent a week in Denver Temple. I was fired up. Now I'm back home in Radharam. Can I call it my home? Yes. Yes. I'm so fired up. Thank you for attending. May you reap the full benefits of Kartik. Now we will have the